A Systemic Approach to Total Sustainability One Community Weekly Progress Update Number 108 One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 108, March 29th, 2015 edition. As always, I'll be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with pictures and video. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or of course you can subscribe to this channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, finished transferring 50% of the written design for the Civilization lesson plan to the website. You can see that here. When complete on the site, this lesson plan will use the central theme of Civilization to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment. We also added 100% of the blue section and 65% of the indigo sections to the Technology and Innovation Molecule webpage, which you can see here. This edition includes informational overviews and links that provide details about these people that have had the greatest impacts on humanity in regards to technology and innovation. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, also finished the final 25% of the image creation for the Civilization Lesson Plan Mind Map. This brings us to 100% complete on that mind map. And Paige also helped us create this new image for the Matter and Materials Lesson Plan, which we featured this week. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source coal crops hub. And we did this for our food forest vine plantings hub also. We additionally researched and added the final major component to the open source eggplant hub recipes. You can see these new additions here. We also did this for the Open Source Alliums Hub, and the first recipe list, or these first recipe lists, will grow as our food experts continue the process of designing the food self-sufficiency transition plan for remote village construction. Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, also finished another vegan recipe, Mexican breakfast hash. You can see this recipe also on the food self-sufficiency transition plan page. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing Continued laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture assembly details behind the scenes. 
These are part of the Earthbag Village and crowdfunding campaign plan, and new updates included correcting a long list of steps for assembling the nightstands and adding assembly details for the moving upper shelf and upper drawer of the nightstands. What you see here is all this behind-the-scenes work in progress, and we estimate we're now 60% complete with what is needed for the website. Also behind the scenes, we finished another 13% of the Earth Dome Loft construction tutorial specifics. This brings us to 33% complete there, and the images you see here are just some of this work that has been done behind the scenes. Matteos Manfredini, civil engineering student specializing in urban design, also completed round one of the Earthbag Village water collection calculations and the transportation design specifics you see here. Sheng Shu, mechanical design engineer, also began putting the three dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign into SolidWorks. You can see this initial work here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Robert Setton, solar design engineer and owner of Solar Hybrid Design, created the next generation design outline you see here for our complete solar infrastructure. Rob Jurdy, pool design and construction expert and owner of Sorico Design and Consulting, also finished these final schematics for the open source indoor outdoor natural pool with a winter bypass for maximizing energy savings and the eco spa designs shown here that will share the pool heater and, if possible, integrate solar collectors for additional energy savings for water heating. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team finished the complete webpage for socially responsible entrepreneurship on the People's Agenda 21 site sharing the best resources we could find for people interested in engaging and or learning about socially responsible entrepreneurship. We also finished behind the scenes the first online draft of the radioactive waste chapter rewrite for the People's Agenda 21 site. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. By taking a systemic approach to total sustainability, we have the ability to combine physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, with emotional sust sustainability, which is fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, highest good education, and true earth stewardship. And to put these things together in a complete and comprehensive holistic model that meets human needs better than the current system. This is how our organization sees ourselves spreading sustainability globally. We believe that if we can make sustainable living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough, that the idea will spread on its own. And specifically, we want it to spread on its own to facilitate the process even faster, even more, as teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that will then teach others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. We call this a solution model that creates additional solution creating models. And not just complete comprehensive models, but the solution model also creates individual highest good components, meaning that everything that we are designing, everything that we are developing is being designed to be implemented as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub. This idea is that if we come, bring together the people that are interested in collaborating and cooperating and creating with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that want to think globally and create solutions for all of humanity, if we bring together those people, and this is what we're doing, 
to, to problem solve, to be the architects and engineers of the future, to be the people that take the systems approach to total sustainability and apply it in a multitude of different ways and open source and free share it so that people can adapt it, so that people can change it, so that people can do it differently, but keep moving in the same general positive sustainable direction. This is how we are coming together right now and how we are creating world change right now. And the next grand evolution of this, the ultimate expression of this, will be the first teacher demonstration hub that will then identify the foundations, the solid objective foundations of how long it will take to build a complete teacher demonstration hub, exactly how much, how much, how much it will cost to build a teacher demonstration hub, all the different elements that are involved in it, the housing, the fulfilled living models, the recreation models, all these things, bringing them together so that people can see how it all actually works and have a place to come and actually experience it which is the ecotourism model, the highest good economic model that we already have. It's all detailed on the website. All these things are there, and we just continue to add more and more specifics, more and more details as we move forward. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if the idea of systemic approach to total sustainability is something that you would like to be a part of, if you're a systems thinker, if you're a doer, if you're somebody who likes to be the change that you want to see in the world, then we invite you to join us. Get involved in our project. We have lots of different ways to participate from the people moving to the property, which are pioneers, to partners and consultants that are just helping out behind the scenes, to sharing our information on the internet. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for our information to get out there. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Facebook. We are on Sue. We are on uh, Reddit, Tumblr, everything. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share what it is that we're doing, get the information in the hands of people that need it the most, and then attract more and more like-minded individuals to our project to participate and to build and open source and free share everything that we're doing even more, even faster. And the next big step, major funding. Right now our organization is an all-volunteer, unpaid staff, including myself. So it actually costs us money to keep doing this because we have to work and do other things to continue to sustain ourselves so that we can keep volunteering and donating our time to one community. Our goal is to get on the property. And to get on the property, we need help. We need somebody with the means or the connections to connect us with somebody that would be interested in funding global change the way that we're creating it. Somebody that thinks that the idea is the idea of a systemic approach to total sustainability and dem demonstrated in a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub that can be duplicated around the world. We're looking for that person or that group that believes that this is a good idea and would like to help fund it. Help us get the property off the market. It's the next big step for us. If we get the property off the market, we could share the location. If we could share the location and allow people to see why it is that we chose the property that we chose after two years of looking, and why we've been spending all this time and energy building the relationships that we have with the county and designing our business model, our business plan around this location that's specifically purposed to invite tens of thousands of people to visit annually to experience one community. And then to be able to take the blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources with them for free to duplicate it. We're looking for the person that wants to help create that. And once we found that person, then we can get people on the ground and we can start open sourcing and free sharing the process of adapting everything that we're doing, which is designed to be maximally adaptable and modifiable. We'll share the process of exactly what people need to look at and how people need to adapt their, our project to their location as well. And so it's all just part of the development process, all part of the open source blueprints and tools and resources that we're creating. The adaptive process itself, the open source process itself, is something that we are open sourcing to. So thanks for following our progress. Thanks for all the emails that we get. Thanks for all the support that we get. Every single email is read. Every single question is answered and integrated into the website. So we, are thank, you. we thank you for all that input. It helps us make everything better. Thank you for the small donations, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $50 donations. Help us pay our web fees. Help us pay for uh, our corporate fees and that kind of stuff that goes along with running a nonprofit organization and uh, keeping everything functioning the way that it's supposed to and continuing to move forward. So, as always, thanks for following our progress. Uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com or you can subscribe to this channel. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on. Keep it on. Thank you.